In this video, you'll learn how to get started with the Salesforce mobile app. Your business can benefit from the Salesforce mobile app because it's a powerful tool that can help your business in many ways. With the app, you can access your Salesforce data from anywhere, at any time, on any device. This means you can stay connected to your customers and your team, even when you're on the go. The app also offers a range of features that can help you improve your productivity and streamline your workflows. One of the key benefits of the Salesforce mobile app is that it can help your users be more efficient. With the app and internet browsers on iPads and tablets, they can access all of their Salesforce data from their mobile device, which means they can work from anywhere. They can also use the app to log calls, create leads, view reports, and get real-time updates on their accounts and opportunities. Another benefit of the Salesforce mobile app is that it can help increase Salesforce adoption within your organization. With it, everyone will be even more customer focused. By making it easy for your users to access their data from their mobile device, you can encourage them to use Salesforce more often. You'll get more value from your Salesforce investment and improve your overall business performance. Before you get there though, let's make sure you're aware of some tips and time savers. Let's review a few areas to help you get started with the mobile app successfully. You know that your team needs to find items quickly and make updates. That's why we made the mobile homepage customizable to fit the needs of every user. If you're an admin that prefers a more controlled experience, you can create a lightning page and add it to the lightning app as a landing page for mobile. Admins can enable any lightning app for mobile by using the lightning app builder. Try creating a new lightning app just for the mobile experience. If your mobile users experience slow page load times, you can take advantage of the app's offline capabilities. This helps your team access Salesforce data even when they're not connected to the internet. Any changes they make will be synced when they're back online. The app includes features that are sure to spark joy in your team. Help them work the way they want to by enabling voice to text. Salesforce Mobile supports your phone's built-in voice dictation capability. It's easy to say you should meet users where they are, but sometimes harder to accomplish it. Starting with phone dictation, you can ensure that everyone on Salesforce Mobile makes use of all the input options available. In this way, you can both improve productivity and provide features that users love. To provide a brief orientation and prepare you to set up extra features, let's have a look at getting started by using the Salesforce interface. If you'd like to enable an app for mobile, go to the App Manager. Then you'll need to select the app that you'd like to enable and select the dropdown. Click Edit and we'll open up the app properties. Go to App Options and then you'll see the Supported Form Factors section. You can go ahead and select Desktop and Phone if that's where you want this app to be available. And then click Save. To create a Lightning app just for mobile, you can either clone an existing app by selecting the dropdown and clicking Clone or you can click New Lightning App and add a name and optionally a description. Then you can additionally choose branding, including colors and images. Next, you will choose the form factor. We'll choose phones so that this is available only on mobile. Add some navigation items or objects that you'd like users to be able to access in this app. And finally, choose the profiles that should be able to access this app. Click Save and Finish. Now let's see the difference between a mobile home page and a custom mobile page. Mobile home has different cards that are editable by the user, which are fully customizable. We can change what list we want to see on this page. And we can also edit what cards are shown. By contrast, the custom mobile landing page will be visible only if you have a custom mobile app. And this is customized by the admin. You can have launch pads if you want to go directly to different objects, different lists, items, reports, and dashboards. You can also have actions at the top in case users want to quickly create new records. In order to edit a record, open it, tap the edit option, and scroll through the available fields. We'll edit the preferred contact channel to email and then click save. The main menu allows you to switch between apps, access all items, even ones that aren't available in the menu, and view the objects that are available for this app. Notice that these line up with desktop if you're using a desktop app. 
Let's check out an object. You'll have your lists available at the top as well as recent items below. On a record, you have actions available at the top menu, and then there are additional details below. Let's try the call action. This way we can call this lead and additionally be prompted to log the call. Customer is ready to take action. This activity is automatically logged to the record. That wraps it up for this Salesforce mobile overview video. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.